Hey, how's it going guys? I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial for you guys here done on my Mac to allow you to create custom ringtones for your iPhone using GarageBand. Now this is basically a Mac specific tutorial seeing as that you cannot get GarageBand on a PC. So for you PC users, I'm very sorry about that. Um, I will try to include a couple of links in the description that will allow you to do them on there. But this is a tutorial that I'm using with two different file types a .caf file and a .m4a file or .m4r, either one. Now the .caf file is actually an old or legacy file format that Apple used to use for their ringtones on their iOS devices. Now this is a very old text message tone that I had, uh, I believe on my iPhone 4 or 4S, and I just remembered that I had it, so I rummaged through my stuff, downloaded it, but now I can't use it because it's a .caf file versus a .m4a or .m4r file. Now, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking one of these files and I'm going to be taking it into GarageBand. Now, GarageBand automatically recognizes if I right click and go to open with that this file can be opened inside of GarageBand. So I'm just going to click that here, let GarageBand load up, and inside of here I'm going to click create so I can create a new type of track. Going to go ahead and close out of this here, and I'm just going to take this CAF file and drag it straight into my GarageBand. Now, from here, I'm going to check off these, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you hear what this text message tone sounds like that I'm going to be using on my personal phone here. So, something just as simple as that. So, the instructions are very, very simple. All you need to do is I'm going to trim down this timeline head here just a little bit to right towards the end of this file here. So now I have my loop on so it's going to loop just a couple times so you can hear it. Just like that. So now all I need to do, GarageBand makes it extremely simple for you to export this out as a ringtone compatible with an iPhone or iOS device straight from GarageBand. All you need to do is click on share and you have an option that says ringtone to iTunes. Once I click that, it's going to open it up in iTunes, play the sound, and then I can sync my phone directly from there. Just like that. Now, if I wanted to, I'm actually going to go here, and I'm just going to rename it to what it originally was called for me. Just like that. Now, you'll notice that I have two of those in there. So if I click play, now all I need to do is plug my iPhone in, and then once it'll connect, then I can actually sync my iTunes, and you'll notice that I will actually have that sound on my device. So I click over here, my phone's gonna plug in, check my phone, make sure that tones are checked on, so I'm gonna sync all my tones, go to tones, click sync, and then from there, like I said, automatically syncs over. So now, on my uh, iOS device, click over here, and you notice that that now goes off properly, just as I planned. So you can do this with almost any file type that you can pull into GarageBand, and it'll actually allow you to export it out as a ringtone through iTunes for your iOS device. Well, that's the simple tutorial for you guys today. I hope that helped. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments. And as always, I will see you later.